Good morning everyone and welcome to my craft room. My name's Julianne Richards and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in southern Tasmania in Australia. Uh, thanks for joining me today everyone who's popping on live and anyone who's watching in the replay. I really appreciate your time today. I'm just checking my volume. It looks okay. Um, so just say hi as you jump on. Tell me where you where you're um, where you're uh, viewing from and if this is your first time watching me please I'd, I'd love to know. Okay um, so uh, as I say to, uh, as it said in the event today I'm actually going to be featuring this wonderful red velvet paper today. Um, I think having a look at the image there it looks quite uh, a bright red but in real life or in actuality it's actually a, a really deep red like a, a real red if you know your uh, stamping up colours. Um, so yeah, so it looks a bit brighter than it actually is, or at least it does on my iPad. So depending on how it looks at your place, it's a, it's actually a beautiful dark red. Anyway, um, so it comes in a pack of two 30 by 30 or 12 by 12 sheets. Um, it's really sumptuous. It's It's got this velvety sort of plush feel to it. And it's really, for someone who loves feeling things like I do, um, it's just glorious. Um, anyway, so it really adds something special and it, it makes uh, lovely quick cards, which are the three I'm going to be showing you today, really something quite special um, uh, and, and um, you know, quick but, but really, really something um, a cut above. So um, I've made three cards for you today um, and I've used, what, just over half, maybe half a sheet of the um, the real the red velvet paper so with three cards half a sheet you probably get six cards like the ones I've made today out of half a sheet and then you have another whole sheet to go which is really 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 special okay so uh, as is, if you um, if you like what you see today you want to um, talk to me about any of the products um, placing an order if you live in Australia and don't have a demonstrator please um, just pop on afterwards and drop me a line. So I'll get rid of that today and uh, we'll actually start with our three cards. Now I've got a confession to make. I had such a busy week at work this week that and knowing that I needed to do a, wanted to do a video today uh, I have actually borrowed pretty heavily from some other demonstrators on Pinterest uh, uh, yesterday so um, most of these cards are pretty much uh, borrowed or cased from um, demonstrators on Pinterest so I will credit them in the comments once we've finished. Okay so this is our first card today. It's uh, a real red and I haven't got a sample to show you because I just basically made these um, as little kits ready to go so you're going to see them for the first time with me. Uh, so it's a real red card base which is eight and a quarter by five and three quarters and scored in the middle just to form the standard uh, f you know, f uh, A6 or C6 card base. Then I've got a panel of Whisper White for inside for our stamping. And then here's where the action starts. I've got a panel of, another panel of Whisper White, which is a quarter of an inch smaller than your card base. So it's uh, three and seven eighths by uh, five and a half. And I have already cut out from the middle of that one of the ornate layers ornate layers dies um, when I'll show you which one I've used I've used this one here obviously to cut that out of the paper so it's just saving a little bit of white paper because I am going to be covering that layer with our beautiful red velvet specialty paper there so um, this uh, ornate layers is in our current catalog um, and before I got my new crop uh, emboss and cut and emboss machine I used steered away from it because my old machine used to struggle terribly getting those cut out but the new machine um, just glides through it like butter so um, I'm sort of using it more and more these days okay so it's fairly straightforward from here this one um, so I'm just basically going to pop my layer of white onto my card base as I say I've got all of these cut out so we should probably get our three cards done in just over half an hour so we can all get on with our Saturday okay so we've got that so that one's there as I say don't worry about the big hole that's just me saving whisper white cardstock which is probably a good thing to do especially if you're using say gold or foil or or the beautiful paper as well so I'm going to be covering that so the the um, panel of uh, red velvet paper specialty paper is another quarter of an inch smaller so it's um, 
five and uh, no three and three and five eighths by uh, five and a quarter. And I'm just actually going to pop that straight on top of the whisper white. As I say, this whisk this paper makes quick cards, but very 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 special ones. So I'm just popping that on there as well. So I just love that contrast of the red to the white and then back to the beautiful red. I wish you guys were here and could feel that. That's um, awesome. It just feels so wonderful. Okay, so then I'm going to bring in our sentiment box. And it's going to basically just sit on top of there again, adding another contrast to our beautiful red and white layers. First of all, I'm going to stamp it and sort of brighten it up a little bit. Thanks to everyone who's jumping on. I can see a few names. Let me have a little look. Sally's there. Hey, Sally. And Christy and Judy and Linda. Hi, Linda. I know you're from Melbourne. And Wendy and Gwenda and Pamela. Wow, a lot. Robin and Nicola and Annette. Oh. And Kathy and... Oh, wow. Kathy and Michelle. Hey, say hi. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you spending your Saturday mornings partly with me. So what I'm going to do is just smarten this little um, sentiment box up a tiny bit is bring out this little berries stamp from the poinsettia petals stamp set. I'm going to just do that there. I'm going to grab some black ink. Somebody's walked up to my front door. Isn't it always the way? I should be put a big sign out saying... We, on video please don't knock something like that I'm just going to bring in this little I might actually pop uh, a piece of paper under there so that I don't get too mucky just a scrap of something I usually have my grid paper there but I haven't today just pop that under there and again I'm going to bring my berries up there as I say, I'm sort of making this bit, bit one up as I go along because I hadn't actually done one already, but I think the berries will be nice. Here we are. And then, because we've got so much real red in here, I'm just going to bring in my real red marker, my dark real red marker, and just colour in those little berries. I'm just going to put there's a really nice Merry Christmas in this stamp set which I have been using uh, a lot even when I'm not using the rest of the stamp set but it's a really nice Merry Christmas just sort of a bit a bit curly I'm just going to pop that on the center there like that I'll grab another block where's my blocks yeah I was thinking of doing it in real red, but I think I'll do it in black since I've actually got the blackberries there as well. Yeah, pop that in there. Oh, don't move on me. In fact, I actually could probably um, heat emboss it in a nice dark black if you had it, or even a gold. Here we go. Merry Christmas. I'm going to bring back our card. I'm going to pop this on dimensionals, just smack bang in the middle there. Up on some foam squares. And you can probably leave this card there, but I'm going to add some extra bling to it. Just get this sentiment box on first. Thanks to everyone else who's come on. I'm seeing some other names pop up. Good morning Susan and Pamela, I think I said Pamela already, Jenny and Carolyn. I have to apologise to you Carolyn, I think I spent the whole last class calling you Caroline. But I will make up for it next year I promise. I'm assuming it should have been Carolyn. But I've got a friend called Caroline and she comes into my face all the time, into my head 
all the time. Okay, the I'm um, sorry, Carolyn's asking what's the yeah, it's it's exactly what you've called. It's called red red velvet specialty paper. I'll show it at the beginning. I'll show you again. I've lost it. Here. It's called red velvet paper. Can't be much easier than that. It's basically called what it is. You get two sheets in a pack. It's really lovely. Okay, it's really sort of yeah. Really um uh yeah, you want to touch it. Uh, anyway, so to bling this up a little bit, um <laughs> thank you. Oh good, you're so, you're nice to say you didn't notice. To add bling this up a bit, I'm going to use these snowflake sequins. And I'm just going to pop the little white snowflakes which are in here just around on the red a little bit with some dabs of glue. And I'll just grab my tool with its putty end out. And a tool is really, really handy for picking up little sequins and things like that. But I am actually going to add the glue first so I can actually decide where I want my little sequins. So I'm just going to just pop some little pieces of glue. Just tiny. Should have started in the middle, I think. So you can see the pattern. Just going to sort of do a. Probably shouldn't have been as regular as that, but I've actually sort of my love of um, uh, symmetries taken over. Okay, hopefully I've got enough of the little um, snowflakes to put all those on. So you can see that's where the snowflakes are going to be. Now I'll just have to find them. So they've got in the set, they've got little stars, they've got little sequins and these little snowflakes. So I just thought again, the contrast of red and white would be pretty special. Snowflake, where are you? There, there's another one. Okay. And they stick really well to the paper. It's not like because it's furry it doesn't stick properly. It sticks really, really, really well. Eek! I hoped I wouldn't run out of snowflakes. Oh, there's one. Oh, forgive the top of my head there, guys. I'm trying to get a bit closer to these snowflakes. Maybe I'll bring the snowflakes down here so I don't have to reach so far. I don't really want to see the top of my head in there. Snowflakes! There's lots of stars, which I probably should have used stars if I'd had a proper look. So what are we thinking of this so far? Quite a, quite a search. I knew I'd used a fair few snowflakes in my t in, out of the pack. I didn't think I'd use quite this many. Little stars come there just for the, to hang on. You can't stay. I would swap from stars to snowflakes, but it's a little bit far, far down the track, or at least alternate them. Alternate them might have been a good idea, eh? Put the stars on the bottom. That's a good idea, Deb. I could have put one layer of stars and one layer of snowflakes, couldn't I? Here we go, we're getting the idea of it anyway. Oh no, I found a patch of snowflakes, we're okay. I think we'll be okay. They're all clumped together. These are really, really sweet, these little sequins. As I say, they've got some silver ones in there as well. And lots and lots of stars. And lots and lots, originally, lots and lots of snowflakes. Now they will stick, um, trust me on that one, um, just with a tiny amount of glue there. Nearly there, apologies for this, it's like watching 
blue dry, I'm sure. Last one. Okay, so that's the front done. That really lifts it, don't you think? Those little snowflakes really actually lift lift it from being, you know, just sort of one colour to being many colours. They're really lovely and they've got a tiny bit of, um, slight bit of um, shine to them, so they're really cute. So what I'm going to do is just, I've got what Merry Christmas on the front. Just going to bring in an inside um, an inside sentiment. We we'll use the May Magic and Wonder Bloom this holiday. And I might do the bit with the berries again just to bring them from the outside to the inside. to carry on that theme a tiny bit and just colour them in there is actually a little stamp in there that will carry the colour the berries for you um, which I probably could have could have should have used but um, will be consistent now and our sentiment here Ta-da! There we go. What do we think of that inside there? I think that's just, it's not too overdone. I don't like to overdo my insides too much. Got to leave room for people to write their messages and stuff like that. She says, hoping that all her snowflakes have stayed on, which they have. And there we are. So that is card number one using the velvet the red velvet paper it's quite cute actually i quite like that one um yeah so hopefully you like that one as well okay I'll just tidy up a wee bit and then we can get on to card number two i know my upline donna is having one of her in home what do we call it in home workshops this weekend so I don't didn't expect lots of people to be around I thought she had quite a, a lot of people going to her workshop so um, thank you for if you're um, going to one in the future thank you for popping in to see me anyway looks like from her videos this morning that everyone was going to have such a love a really good time so I might try and do one of those next year as well once the libraries and meeting rooms are all up and about again as well so watch this space just gonna have a drink of my coffee I made my coffee just before I came mm, yum okay so that's card number one there we go so let's get on now they're going to get a little bit little bit fancier as we go through so let's just uh, stay keep keep going okay quite happy with that Love those snowflakes. Okay, so card number two is again using the red velvet paper and again using the poinsettias. Anyone who's been watching me for a while is going to get mightily sick of the poinsettias. Um, but I tried to pick... I didn't want to spend too much on Christmas stuff this year. I mean, you know, it's, it's Christmas, it's lovely, but, you know, it's Christmas. It's only once a year. So I bought the poinsettia one and a few other select ones and I've been getting as much use out of them as I possibly can. Um, which I think we should all try and do these days. Money's not easy to come by. Okay, so this little card's going to be a landscape one as well. So it's this, going to go this way. Um, and I've got a strip of, oh, I've got a, excuse me, a Whisper White card base, a thick card base. Usual size, eight and a quarter by five and three quarters. Then I have a two and a half inch wide piece of the red velvet paper. I've just got to touch it, it's so good. And it's cut two and a half wide, as I said, and five and three quarters long. So it matches the ends of your card base exactly. Okay. Um, 
And then I've got two strips and they're half inch long, wide strips of gold foil. Gold foil is far too expensive to use big strips of in my view, so I usually hide, um, usually cut them so you can I get away with using as little as possible. And I'm going to snug those up under there like that, just to give it a, a, the, the vision that looks like it's been backed with gold foil, when really I've only used, what, an inch worth of it. I'm going to pop that gold foil on with tear and tape, with double-sided tape. And I think you can see what's going to happen with this card as well. It's fairly obvious going in. So I'll just pop some double-sided tape onto my onto the hard edge of my foil. You must love the points here. <laughs> yes. You know, Susan, I wasn't actually even going to buy it. I thought to myself, no, I've got enough flowers to last me a lifetime. And I saw our dear friend Michelle Wells using it to make some beautiful cards and I thought, no, I can't resist. I have to buy it. And I did. And I've probably used it three quarters of the time. You know, three quarters of my cards have been this, this year have used it. So it's quite addictive. And there's so many lovely ideas from so many lovely, talented um, demonstrators out there to, to um, borrow from. If you're a bit like me and rushed for for time. Okay, so I'm just popping both of those there. Thank you so much for everyone who signed on. I think 20 is probably the most people I've had for a long, long time. And my other one I'm going to pop up here. Just so, probably what, quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit less peeks out from behind but the ends match up there you go so you wouldn't know that I'd skimped on my gold foil would you you'd think it was all continuous gold foil okay so I'm going to bring in my card base now and I'm going to pop that in the center and then again again we have this lovely contrast of red white but with a bit of um, gold in between and who doesn't like that so I'm just going to glue that straight on Straighten that up as much as I can. You can always trim the edges if you've a little bit over. But I think I've got this pretty much right. And our beautiful glue that lets us have a little bit of a play before it sets. Okay, so that's that. So that's the back card base. Um, I was actually going to put the sentiment down here, but I don't think I've left enough room. That's what you get for not practicing them beforehand. I was going to use the Merry Christmas again and I was going to pop it down in there but no I haven't left enough room so we're going to have to rethink our uh, sentiment. We can that's all right I can think on my feet we'll do it as we go. Okay so now I have my poinsettia from the poinsettia dies and I have cut it out of white this time so I've got all the four pieces of the flower in, in white and as I have in previous videos, I'm going to just curl them between my thumb and finger just to give them a slight curve at the vein, which is part of the, the dye, which is really, really lovely. There we are. And this one. And then I'll just layer them up with some glue. Just a touch. Just intersperse the leaves. Give it that sort of slightly natural look. As much as you can with paper. I love that. That sort of that it's so lovely in 3D. It's really nice. And the last one just in the centre. There we are. So we've got our beautiful white. So I'm going to go for that whole white-red contrast again and pop that on there. 
and I've got various things cut here. So I've got some of the little tiniest poinsettias cut in white and in gold. Then I have the um, sort of the spray of berries cut in gold and in foil. Uh, vellum, sorry, they're in vellum these ones. So I'm going to put those all around as well. So but I'll put our poinsettia in first and then I can bring everything in around it. So just a dab of glue on the back. I don't think it needs a dimensional at this stage. I think it's got enough dimension, so to speak. And I'm going to pop him there. Rotate it so I can go over a bit. Just there like that. And as I say, it sticks beautifully to the, um, to the velvet paper. I'm going to arrange our other little flowers. I'll give them a little bit of a curl. In and around our main flower. Oh, come on, glue's lugged up. Oh, come on. Usually, when it gets glugged up like that, it'll come out in one big blur, one big. Um, blob and just our little white one oh come on pop him down maybe up there okay then we'll bring in our little sprays sorry I just wobbled then where's my scissors now these sprays are usually a tad long, so I usually just chop them off. It's a bit sad that I know that before I even try. We've used this die set so often this year. We won't waste those, we'll use those as well. So what are we thinking of this one so far? I still haven't worked out what I'm going to do with the sentiment. So suggest to me what you um, what you think I should do as far as sentiment's concerned. A bit too much glue there. Okay, now our foil. Uh, foil, why do I say that? Vellum ones. Thank you everyone for your kind words. I do enjoy spending a couple of hours with everyone on the we at the weekend after my day at my days at my day job, which this week was particularly, as I mentioned, particularly stressful. I am actually a team leader and my team made a bit of a boo-boo, a bit of a mistake with their processing, so it's my leadership philosophy that basically if you know the buck stops with me so even if I wasn't directly involved um, you know I, st I took the complaints and dealt with it and stuff like that so it was a bit of a stressful week but um, but uh, you know it wasn't um, wasn't half as stressful for me as it was for the guys who who were sort of suffering the flack a little bit so anyway that's my week Lovely and relaxing now. I'll get into my, my card making therapy and leave it all behind. So I'm just going to use these little bits of gold that we didn't use before. Just not waste, not want not. Now my children are getting home. It was nice and quiet here before. Now they were getting home. It'll get noisy again. Okay, that doesn't want to stick up. I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on the back of one of those. I don't mind them sticking up a little bit. This one's curled quite considerably. I'll just glue him down a tiny bit. Okay, cool. Okay, so how's that for a start? It's quite pretty, isn't it? Quite special, quite um, lush. 
here we are so what was I going to do next oh, I was going to bring a little gold um, a gold piece of gold bling into the middle and where did I put my gold bling I've got everything out so I'd have it handy and then promptly lost it where is it hang on I've got a new packet here I think yeah so I'm just going to bring a gold gilded gem into the center of our um, poinsettia there get my tool again I've gone missing as well I'm sure the fairies pop in here while I'm doing my videos and steal things while I'm using them so I'm just going to use the I think the big one of the gilded gems just in the center there okay how's that now I still haven't worked out how, what sentiment I'm going to do maybe I don't need a sentiment at all or maybe I'll pop it here I just didn't want to cover over our our um, paper too much but anyway let's see uh, what I am going to do though is I want to add a little bit extra a little bit of extra bling to this one and I really wanted red rhinestones but I haven't got any so what I'm going to do is use um, basic silver rhinestones just pop that there and I'm going to color them which is really great and you're supposed to be able to do it so it's not not, not me inventing something I've got my real red blend and I'm just going to color and it just gives them a slight flush of the color I'm just going to color three of them and I'm going to use them around on the card so you see how that's given them a bit, I'll bring them closer so you can have a look. That's just given them a little bit of a flush. And once it dries, it won't come off. It's just given them a little bit of a flush of, of red there. Um, so you can see that. So I'll use those. I think I just want three. Oh, he's decided to go himself. A matter of where I might put one in the middle of that little white poinsettia there oh, they've all decided to pop off and one down here and once you put them against the white you can't actually tell that they weren't red to start with or at least pink there we are okay so that's just a little bit of extra something and a little bit of a hint there that you can color these rhinestones whatever color you want now sentiment 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 really thrown myself with this sentiment maybe I don't need one as I say I was going to pop it there just on the white look up the top no I don't think it's going to look any good squished in down the bottom there at all forgive the top of my head if you're seeing it I might actually just do myself a little sentiment box with that on it I got me? always got lovely nice sized pieces of cardstock lying around from cutting off things so I don't know if you guys get that as well you've got like half inch quarter inch not a quarter inch, half inch, inch width pieces of whisper white all over the place. So I'll just stamp that and we'll see where we can put it. There we are. Just trim that off. That's not bad. What do you think about there? I'll give you a gold embossed on white. Yeah, yeah, actually, Michelle, you are exactly right. It should be gold embossed, shouldn't it? Yes, yes. Rewind. We're going to gold emboss it. I wonder if I can turn it over. Would you see the black through? Probably not. Let's turn it over. Okay 
actually have my gold embossing stuff down here. I must have been thinking that I would gold emboss something. So let's see. I'll give that a clean off. So at least we know our sentiment box is the right size. I'm just using my Versmark clear ink and straight over the top there on the other side of my black. Flicked a little bit too hard, I'm flipping it all off. There we are. Let's bring in my heat gun. Forgive the noise for a second. It's starting to turn now. Also starting to burn my fingers, which is also a good sign. get rid of this before I have a horrible accident which wouldn't be unusual when it comes to me and embossing powder I was making a card once and the embossing powder fell a whole tub like this fell just straight into my lap and basically emptied completely onto my lap and so I was only halfway through finishing the card I had to basically scrape it back into the container from my lap and um, keep going and uh, the card ended up with like bits of little fluff and Oh gosh, it was it was a bit of a disaster, but I got it. I'm like, oh, my embossing's not 100% there. And so I might pop that up in there. How's that? Yeah, I think that's okay. I think that'll work. So just snuggling it, snug it just under the, the flower a little bit. I'm going to pop that on dimensionals as well. There we go. Much nicer than the plain black, I think. So I was going to put, as I say, put the, um, but I, I didn't leave myself enough space to put, I was actually going to gold emboss the Merry Christmas down the bottom there. Um, but yes, best laid plans. Here we are. And again, we've got that beautiful contrast of red and white with a fair bit of gold thrown in for good measure. So that's card number two. Just flick that under there. Here we are. So that's card number two of my red um, velvet paper trio. There we go. Okay, so let's get on to card number three. And they've been getting slightly more complex as we go. The next one looks complex as the end result. So there's our two so far. Aren't they cute? That's how two so far. The next one looks like it should be the most complex one when you finish it, but in honesty, it's probably the easiest of the three and definitely the most, um, the quickest once you've got all the components together. So what I'm going to do and, and what I actually wanted to do as soon as I saw the gold velvet paper um, come into the come into the catalogue, I knew that I wanted to cut a poinsettia out of the gold, the red velvet paper. And so this is what I've got here. I've got a, so it's just, it just feels like, it 
feels like you know you just picked it from the garden is that where you you know, I suppose they're pot plants but anyway you know what I mean it feels like it's real so I'm just going to again give it a bit of a curl and the vein in there it's just so sweet it still gets imprinted into the velvet but it's just so rich and I'll, I'll bring in my other one not that I don't like my other one but I'll show you the difference in a minute it's just the just so vibrant so what I'm going to use is this one but I'm also going to use a couple of things also with the the uh, in the current mini catalogue we have a plush specialty paper with white and has these beautiful patterns and it's the same sort of velvety feel it's just glorious it's just you know really sumptuous so I'm going to put that and this this card is going to be a portrait card I'm going to put that over the white card base just like that so I've done cards with this sort of combination before so I'm going to put that I'm actually going to double side tape it rather than glue it I think the glue shows up a little bit too much through the through the through the vellum base. <laughs> I will be expecting your order shortly, shall I, Caroline? Carolyn. I'm going again. I'm, you've become Caroline to me. No, it's glorious. It really is. So I think if you do it right, you would get at least at least 12 cards from the pack of two sheets at least probably more because I have got some leftovers there that I'm sure I could make another card out of when I used my half sheet it'd be very special cards it'd be um, you know cards for you you know the very special people in your life you know stamping up demonstrator me Your mum, your dad, your family, your sister, special people like that. Okay, so I'm going to pop that on there. So this piece of um, specialty paper is an eighth of an inch smaller than my card base. So just so you've got a tiny rim around the edge. And what makes this card so quick and so special is that I'm actually using one of these gold um, laser cuts from the, the annual catalogue. This is the forever gold specialty designer series paper and if you've seen this one it's got so many options oh, this is a brand new packet because I've already used it all my original packet already um, it's got so many options in gold it's just glorious lots of leaves sentiment boxes and the, another highlight is you get a series of these card layers as well so you just basically cut these out and you've got an instant card background there. You don't need to do much to it to create a glorious card there. And you can use them as gold, and you can also use them, the other side is white. So you can use it as a white base on a color as well. So they are wonderful, and as I say, they've made this card pretty special, but also pretty quick as well. So what I'm gonna do is pop that in the center of my card base, pretty much smack bang in the middle. Just with some glue. Seems a shame to be covering up that beautiful plush paper that was meant to be a background. Just going to pop with some glue on the back, pop that on there. It's like it was meant to be, it fits perfectly either side of a four inch card base. There we are. Then I'm going to assemble my real red velvet poinsettia. I was going to bring that other one in to show you. I'll get it set, um, assembled first. Thankfully the glue lets me twist it till I'm perfectly happy before it sets. one in the middle mm. 
Okay, so that's our poinsettia there. I'll bring the other one back in with its... Oh, it's white. It's not red. I can't show you the red. Hang on, I've got a piece of red cardstock here somewhere. You should be able to see the difference. There we go. So this is real red, and that is the paper. So hopefully you guys can see just how richer that red actually is from the from the velvet. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah. So it's just glorious. Anyway, so we'll bring that in. I'm waxing a bit lyrical today. Bring this one in. I'm going to pop my this poinsettia just into the centre of that um, that circle. So you can see now the circle has given us all this foliage around the edge, so we didn't have to bother with die cutting them and stuff like that. We've got instant background right there. So I'm going to pop my poinsettia onto a dimensional just because I can. It's come away. The glue hadn't quite set yet. It's because it's on the shiny gold foil. It often does take a little bit longer to actually take. We'll pop that. I just wanted it as close to the centre as I could. There we go. There we are. And then, just to make it extra, extra, extra special, I will bring in one of the... No, not the snowflake sequins. I've used those already. Where did I put them? There, here they are. The beaded pearls, which are also in the poinsettia... Um, Bun, a sweet in the mini catalogue. I'm just going to pop one in the middle there just just to add a bit more. Like it needed anything more. It's going to have more and more of more. So I'm going to use a little glue dot just on the back of that. Just to pop it in the centre there. That's pretty special. Then what I thought I might do just to make it even better is bring back my basic rhinestones and my real red um, my real red marker. And again I'm going to colour in some some rhinestones with the red. Use the big ones and the small, slight, the middle sized ones this time. And the little one. And just pop those around. Now, hang on, the sentiment, I don't want to go, the sentiment's going to go there. So I don't want to pop a, a rhinestone there, do I? Unless I put the sentiment here and then the rhinestones, because I really do like my rhinestones opposite each other. It's a bit, a bit, uh, Bit of a thing with me. Yeah, I'm going to pop my sentiment there, and this this is what I had my um, gold. Uh, this is what I had my gold embossing stuff out for because I was going to do this one with gold. Let's hope it goes better than my first one. I'll just pack up a little bit just so I haven't got so much stuff around. So I've cut that sentiment box just big enough for the, the other sentiments from this set. There's a thank you for making this season wonderful, which fits quite nicely, and a warm wishes from our home to yours. I might use the thank you. I haven't used that one before. Do a 
better job with the embossing this time. Make a bit of room. There's my little thing here. Just get everything ready. Thing you can put half of it back, I think, or most of it back. I think my Versmark ink might be running out a little bit because it's not quite inking properly. <sighs> I'm going to get my refill out. Okay, thank you for making this se this a wonderful season. I'll bring my heat gun back in. on that so we don't have a track pants mistake I might get a little pair I've got a little pair of um, tweezers here that I hold with so I don't burn my fingers if I can get it there we go there we go that's better no burnings now Okay, it's just turning now. That's good. Just make sure it's all done. Yes, it is. And I'm going to pop that just up under here. Under there like that. And I'll put that on dimensionals as well. and that as I said is card number three which probably looks about the fanciest of the three but to be honest was with the use of all those pre-cut and um, um, pre-cut and pre-designed shapes it really it was quite simple so there we are so isn't that special that's just lovely I love that one okay so there are my three cards with the um, red velvet paper. There we are. It's just, uh, it's just beautiful. I hope you can get that color contrast, like I'm, you know, like I'm hoping you can. Just so pretty. Uh, anyway, so there they are, our, our three. Um, which one do you like best? Pop in the comments which one you like best. Um, I really, really really love all of them I quite like this one I didn't think I thought it would be the simplest one but I think it's quite pretty quite sort of more conventional you know more more modern okay so there they are there are my three cards for today as I say they all feature the red velvet paper which is available in the current mini catalogue so through to the end of the year you can grab that um, I think I'm going to grab a few just in case something it doesn't come back next year I think it's really really lovely um, anyway, so thanks for joining me. Uh, have a great Saturday. As I say, if you don't have a current demonstrator and you'd like to grab the catalogue or talk to me about products or talk to me about these designs, um, please just drop me a message uh, separate, separately or, or um, drop it into the comments. Um, I'm happy to get back to you. Um, but anyway, thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend and I will see you all um, next time. Thank you.